I call <coughs> Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Delighted to take a call on this Maritime Crimes Amendment Bill on its uh, third reading. I didn't have the good fortune of sitting on the Committee of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade Committee uh, at the time, but as has been well articulated in the House, uh, this is bringing into effect two pieces of, uh, of international treaty, effectively. It's nothing um, overly unusual. In fact, uh, some members of the House remember us bringing the Bunker Oil Convention um, in a few months back. You know, not one of the great highlights of the House per se, but this is a fairly standard procedure. Uh, including the select com committee working through a number of, of issues, including those being referenced by the last member who's just taken their seat around protests. But it's very clear uh, that this bill uh, is talking about serious crimes on the sea and it is not actually including uh, protest vessels and the like. What I do find striking, though, is that here, and others have mentioned it, we are a few days into this parliament, and this seems to be... Well, this is a previous government bill which has been adopted uh, by the new government. Uh, it's relatively minor. Um, it is a concern, certainly to me, that maritime crimes uh, is sort of, you know, top of the agenda when you think of all the other issues facing New Zealand. I am concerned that uh, this is one of many pieces of legislation uh, we've been debating, which is effectively legislation from the previous government, uh, legislation worked on by the previous parliament, and, as far as I understand, supported by um, all the House. So in terms of this being a maritime crimes bill, I, I don't think uh, the current government, uh, well, wasting almost the time of the House as a crime, but in the maritime context, it certainly shows that they're up the creek without a paddle. I call Golris Garaman. 